Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to my channel. This video is part of the AEM Tutorials playlist, the link for which I will leave it in the description box. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of AEM authoring which will be useful both for AEM authors and also developers. If you are liking the videos which I am doing, please hit on that like button and also please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the presentation. Okay, so let us start by understanding what is AEM authoring. As I told in my previous videos also, AEM provides us with an ability to create the page. Even a non-technical user can just create a page by just dragging and dropping the components onto the page. Okay, so that process of dragging and dropping the component onto the page and creating the layout of the page is called as authoring. Okay, it's just it's dragging and dropping the component, adjusting the layout uh, on the page and also authoring the uh, dialogues like uh, if, if there is any title uh, component, what should be the title, authoring the content in that component. So that is also part of authoring. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, website which you can refer. Okay, so to understand what are the out of the box components which are provided by AEM. Okay, so you will have the entire list like this. Okay, so these are all the out of the box components which are given by AEM. So what we need to understand is like when to use which of these components. Like for example, uh, for the navigation, right, we can use the tabs component or we can use menus, right, or we can use accordion. So when should you use tabs and when should you use accordion? That you must know. And how to author this particular uh, accordion or tabs that also we need to know okay so when exactly we need to use each of this component and what is the purpose of each of this component that we must know okay so how can we know that is like if you just click on this here you will have a high level uh, thing as to what is this component all about and when it has to be used okay so like this we will have to make a decision as to when this particular thing has to be used and accordingly we need to use it on the page and create the uh, page layout so how do we do all this process in AEM let's try to see that now okay so if we go on to this page right if you go to sites.html that is where you will have all these layout like we can cite for example this is one of the site which is created okay so this is the root we say and in inside that we create uh, these folders and ultimately uh, inside all these folders we will create the page okay so uh, so first is this uh, weekend site then we create the language master so the second entry must be the country like for example United States Canada like that and inside the country we will have the language variation and inside the language we have the actual page and inside the pages there could be sub pages also okay so this is how the entire flow works and for example, let us suppose if we want to open this particular page, okay, we just have to select uh, here this checkbox and click on the edit button. So then uh, this page layout get open in the edit mode. Okay, so if we have to create the new page, we just have to click on this create button and then uh, create the page. Okay, so let us see how this page appears once it has opened. Okay, so this is how it opens in the editor.html. Okay once you open the page and this is how it looks like okay so but uh, this is how it looks like uh, immediately after you open but if we click on this icon right then you can see that uh, uh, here if we click on this icon and uh, this component tree right or content tree we are able to see that this page is not just a plain page but it is assembly of all these uh, components okay like uh, for example this fragment grid and this image is one component carousel is another component breadcrumb is another component right so all these components uh, are added onto this page and that is how this page is being rendered okay so that's what we are going to see here once we open once we click on this and click on here right uh, what is what component makes up this page that is what we are going to see here so now if we see here this is one of the component right as soon as we uh, mouse uh, hover over on this particular component right then this is how it appears okay so the uh, as soon as you mouse hover 
it opens up with this uh, blue uh, background or blue border and once you click on that blue border uh, it opens uh, this panel okay in this panel you will have the ability to edit configure and this is a frame brush icon wherein you can see the styles you can copy cut delete add new element so you can do a bunch of the options here so if you click on this particular arrow icon you can just uh, drag this blue border to resize this element if you have to just put uh, two elements side by side you can do it by just dragging this okay so uh, so let us see uh, once you click on this configure what will happen okay so this is called as configure button so once you click on that configure button a dialog property will open dialog box will open like this okay so this is the dialog box and you can enter the title here and the newly entered title will just get updated in this title component and here you have the ability to select the size like h1 h2 h3 you can select any one of them and accordingly the style gets adjusted there okay or font size get adjusted there so this dialog box is created by am developers okay so the out of the box there will be certain uh, fields already given like for example title uh, type or size link id all these are out of the box and but the aem developers will have the ability to extend this dialog box like for example they'll be able to create a new uh, field there and uh, which an author can enter and they they are in a position to uh, use that field in this particular title also like for example if we want to concatenate this title plus some subtitle and then uh, you have to put the title here and below you have to put the subtitle uh, that change aem developer will be able to do that okay so that's about this uh, dialog box and uh, the configure button of the aem components so next we'll try to understand about this paint brush icon so what happens once you click on this paint brush icon is you will be able to see this drop down like this okay so this drop down lists all the styles which are available on, on that particular component uh, let us suppose if i have to align this particular title to right then i just have to uh, click on this align right and immediately the title gets aligned to the right so uh, so all these styles like if i want to change the colors this is black color if i want it in white color i can change it so just click on the style and immediately that style gets applied on that particular component so that is the purpose of this uh, paint brush icon so the question is how are all these styles appearing on this particular page once we click on the paint brush icon right how are all these styles appearing so these styles are also developed by uh, developer but then added on the page template by the template author okay so they there will be basically two authoring roles so one is page authoring wherein a simple non-technical user can just create a page drag and drop the components you can just apply a few styles drag and drop this uh, just drag and adjust these layout containers and adjust the layout so any non-technical user can do page, page authoring okay so that is one thing and the second thing is template authoring here in this template authoring there is, there is a need for a little technical skill and to understand the basics of css it's not like we'll have to write the css code but we just need to understand what is css so these styles are added here by the template author so how they are done let us see now okay so if we click uh, we are still in the edit mode okay of that particular page and if we click on these three icons we'll be able to see a menu item called edit template okay so once you click on this edit template the template on which this page is based upon will get opened okay and yes yeah each page each am page is based upon one of the template okay and what we do in the template that we'll see now okay so this is the aem template on which the page which we have seen earlier is based on okay and if you go into the structured tab right so aem page aem template will contain all the allowed templates okay so these are all the allowed templates on this particular template page template so if a page is created based on this template then only you can use these components you cannot use any other components so this is these are the restrictions which we apply using 
AEM templates. Okay, so we just define what are the allowed components on that particular template. So if we are using only four components on a particular page, then we allow only those four components so that the page can be loaded faster. Okay, so the next thing is if you see a icon, you have a small gear like icon here, right? Once you click on this particular icon, it opens the temp component policies. So this is the title component, right? So this, this is the title component uh, we have seen here. So it's the same title component which is allowed here on that particular template. Now if we click on this uh, small gear box, then what happens is the policies related to this title component will get opened. Okay, so these are the policies. Okay, so this is the policy. So select the policy, this is the policy. Okay, so what is a policy? Policy contains certain properties. Okay, if you see here, these are the properties which a policy is containing. And currently it has the title and styles. Okay, so here you have given H1, H2, H3, H4, all these things, right? And you, you have the ability to use the default type size also. So this is where you define what all headings a title can accept. And as we have seen in the dialog box here, right? Earlier, here we have seen the type and size. If you open this dropdown, you will see all the list of those uh, particular types which are defined as part of this, okay? So that is how these are appearing there. Okay, and if you go to the styles tab, right? Uh, then what happens is it opens something like this. So here in the styles, you have this underline. Okay, you have seen this drop down. You have seen this underline in that particular drop down, right? When you clicked on the paintbrush icon. So the style that underline is defined here in the template. Okay, and what should that underline do? which class it should apply when that particular underline is clicked upon that is defined here okay and this class is defined by the aem developer so this is how the entire thing works okay so uh, the page author right page author is coming and is clicking on this paint brush icon and it opens this drop down and you see the underline here okay so this underline and this list of all these names are coming from the template Okay, who authored this? The template author is authoring on the page template. Okay, template author will just open the template which this page is based upon and he will go to the styles and he will add the style like underline, line, right, mini space, all these styles, he is adding it here. So these are the names which we are seeing here. Okay, but what should happen when this particular underline is selected? Some class should be applied. Okay, so that class is this class. Okay, now this class, a, who is creating this class? This class is created by developer. Okay, so what happens is, this developer will define a particular class in the code. Okay, and that code will com get compiled into the CSS. And uh, all the classes which he has defined will be available as part of the client libraries. So what are these client libraries, we'll see later. As of now, you just imagine it to be a CSS file, okay, wherein all the classes are being defined. Now, the template author has the ability to pick one of these class and use it here. He can either use just one style or he can uh, combine two other styles. Like for example, if I want uh, underline also to be appeared and whenever underline is appeared, I want the color to be black. Okay, so those two styles like uh, underlined class and a black color to apply the black color what is a class those two class I can combine here and I can put one new style underlined black like that I can put one new style and then that style will appear in this drop down. Okay, so that is how these three people are working in sync uh, to make sure that these styles are appearing on this particular page. And this is what both template authors, page authors and developers, three of them should understand how the styles are getting applied on a particular page. So to summarize the concept of this entire page and page template, right? So this is how it appears. Okay, there is a page, for example, page one. And here is the page two. Okay, these two are different pages. Now page one is based upon page one template. Okay, it's based upon one template. 
and page two is based upon page two template okay there is a based on relationship here and the relationship is mh to one which means that you can create multiple pages using one page template so page one one page one template using this template you can create multiple pages okay so that is the relationship based on relationship and if you see this page one template right it contains components okay so again the components relationship is contains relationship page template to components relationship is contains page template contains components okay and the relationship model is like one is to m which means that one page can one page template can contain multiple components okay so now if you see the components right then components to the component policies relationship is assigned to a component is basically assigned to one particular policy and the relationship is one is to one for one component in a particular template you can assign only one policy okay so that policy you should have to select using this drop down which you are seeing here right uh, you should click on this drop down and select uh, a policy or else you just have to create a new policy altogether by clicking on new in this drop down okay so if you see right these policies are shared across the templates okay so let us suppose here you have the uh, title page right you you have allowed uh, in this allowed components in the structure here here in the allowed components let us suppose we have two templates and on those two templates you have allowed this title uh, component okay so then what happens let's see okay so this is a title title component which is assigned uh, to the page one template and this is another title component which is assigned to the page two template okay two templates in which you have allowed the title component so now a policy right while you are choosing a policy you can select the same policy for these two components which are assigned these two in these two templates both are the same component title component only but you can assign either the same policy or a different policy okay so let us suppose there is a title component okay now title component can have two policies okay title one policy and title two policy it can contain two policies okay either you can select the title one policy here and title two policy here or you can select a title one policy here and also title one policy here okay it's a bit complicated to understand but if you repeat this the same thing which i told again and again you will be able to understand what i have told okay so uh, basically the page is dependent on the page template and page template contains the component and component contains and components are assigned to a policy now this title policy can be assigned to the title one policy or title two policy and the same title component can exist in a different template also okay and here also you can assign this title component to title one policy or title two policy so at the end of the day what we are saying is these policies can be shared across the templates okay so this is the entire framework of aem authoring and the more you understand this the more better you can be as a page author or as a template author and definitely AEM frontend developer has to understand this if you are liking the videos which i am doing please hit on the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section thank you